evil yesterday morning. Like. Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I am living my life by design. So I just got to Vegas and the last time I was here, I was a dreadful slam clicker. Um, I'm not gonna do that this time. Well, I don't think I'm gonna do that. It's not the super long layover, that 33, 34 hour layover, it's not that one. This is a four day trip. We started from JFK to Vegas. I mean, I think we have 22 hours here. So it is 10.45 a.m. Vegas time. So I think I'm gonna take a nap. Um, go to the gym and then maybe like go find a pool or something to lay by and like people watch i just want to get out um i don't want to be cooped up in these rooms today um yeah i just have a lot on my mind so i just need to get out you know what they say idle minds calls for all kind of thoughts and bad actions so i'm just gonna get out go do some things have a little fun but I have a boring crew. <laughs> so, well, they're not really boring. It's just not a crew that I want to hang out with, per se. So I'll just have to be a loner. And I'm usually fine with being a loner, but in Vegas, it would be nice to have somebody to hang out with. But whatever. Anyways, I'm going to take a little nap. I have this stupid, ugly Band-Aid on my finger because for whatever reason, I decided to get a different shape and longer nails than I usually do. And I cracked my nail and it hurts and it's bleeding and just I just had a very rough start to my morning so I'm gonna try to take a little nap and see if we can change that to a good day All right talk to y'all later Wow that nap was so needed oh my gosh but now I'm up um, I decided that I'm gonna skip the gym tonight. I'll go in the morning because we're on West Coast time So I'll probably wake up super early in the morning anyway So um, I can get a good workout in before we work the flight to Boston because I was realizing um, That I probably won't work out tomorrow in Boston because we get there at like 6 and leave at 7 and I'll be I'll be tired So what I'm gonna go do is lay out by the pool um, I was going to go, you know, we're in Vegas and they have all these nice pools and pool parties. And I was going to go to one, but I just, I don't know. I'm just, my emotions are all over the place, y'all. So I'd just rather be super close to my hotel. So I'm just going to go up to our cute little small pool upstairs. Hopefully it's not a lot of kids out there and just like lay and read my book and catch up on Love Is and things like that so let me show y'all my cute little swimsuit though how adorable is this right it's a one piece isn't this cute yes i love it <laughs> so i bought this swimsuit actually from fashion nova to um wear when i went to cuba whenever whenever that was um june early june but it didn't come in time and then it was in my bag that i took to paris just it was just in there because i keep it in there um, and then y'all know they lost my bags and then by the grace of God some miraculous way when I went home this past weekend My bag was delivered. One of my bags was delivered that day with my swimsuits my big roller board. So That was a good thing. I'm still waiting on one missing bag um, My overnight bag and that's probably why y'all seen me with a bare face a lot because that bag has all of my cosmetics um, Face stuff face cleansing like it has everything in there my Fenty Beauty um, body lava is in there which depresses me every time I think about it and I just really don't know if I'm gonna get that bag back so I've been doing a lot of no makeup days just simply because the stuff that I have is just like boring and I just have not been in the mentality to want to go to Sephora isn't that crazy me not want to go to Sephora but it's so much stuff that I have to rebuy, and I'm just depressed about it. So, y'all will see me barefaced probably for a while until I just get the energy to go and buy all my stuff again, or my bag miraculously shows up. But, yeah, so, Fashion Nova swimsuit. It's cute. Let's go lay out by the pool. This is a little hotel pool. Like, bite size. <laughs> Good view. 
pretty boring, but I'm outside. I said I was gonna get out this time and I'm out. <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here for a little bit. I came over in the corner because the sun was beaming, honey, and I don't need a tan at all. If y'all can tell, I'm already melanated enough, so. Let's just relax for a bit. I just finished watching Love Is Episode 9. Have y'all started watching that? It's on the OWN Network, Oprah Winfrey Network. Um, it's such a good show. But now all the baby kids are gone. I have to pull to myself. I'm going to get in and do some aerobics. <laughs> earlier when I was showing out the swimsuit to put my arms through here it's like one of those off the shoulder styles so this is correct but now it's all wet but yeah it's cute right hey. all right y'all I'm getting a little hungry um I don't even I've just been so just brain's not here y'all I'll tell y'all a little later I don't really feel like talking about it and crying right now so but I'm hungry and um I made, I brought my lunch, all keto friendly, and I totally forgot to show y'all last night. Um, but I'll just show y'all right now. I have everything in the little refrigerator here. I ordered these milkshakes from ketofridge.com. Um, and it kind of looks gross right now because it's frozen. It just needs to be shaken up. So that's a vanilla one and a chocolate one. Um, chocolate. I haven't tasted them yet. But they're 270 calories each, two servings per contain per two servings per container, and they have a total of six net carbs in them. Um, I haven't really been doing that great at counting my carbs and all of that, but I'm just I'm just doing it my way, <laughs> whatever works best for me. And the exciting thing, I made some chia seed pudding, keto friendly kind. So we actually have this on the aircraft in the back and the front in the front sometimes so I made of just a plain vanilla one and then I did a chocolate one I ate some of the vanilla for breakfast this morning or lunch because I'm fasting during the week um, and it actually turned out pretty good so I'll try the chocolate later um, I have um, just cheese sticks to like snack on if I just like have a, a hunger craving and then these meals are also from keto fridge so I ordered two of each of these so this one is beef and broccoli with cauliflower fried rice and crab rangoon stuffed mushrooms sounds pretty yummy um, and then this one is shrimp and sun-dried tomato cream with pesto zucchini and linguine and broccoli artichoke saute so I'm probably gonna have one of these for dinner and they're really easy like they recommend that you like warm them up on the stove or I can just microwave them which is really good because obviously I don't have a stove here so but right now it is like five o'clock Vegas time so oh shoot is it five that means it's almost eight in New York that means I need to eat because so I'm fasting so that means I don't eat until about 12 1 o'clock Eastern time and then I have my last meal like between 7 and 8 p.m. Eastern time so right now it's like I think it's 8 p.m. Eastern time I need to check the clock again um, so I was just gonna like have one of these half of one of these milkshakes and to see how it tastes but I'm realizing now that I just need to have one of these meals and be done eating for the day um, so I'm gonna go with the beef and broccoli see how it tastes. but um, just to update y'all on my keto journey so I started keto what around July 24th 
ish. I think like sometime during that week. And um, today is August 15th and I have lost 20 pounds, y'all. Yay! It's very exciting. Um, but the thing is, is that like I can feel it. Like I can feel it in my body. I feel different. I don't feel as heavy, but I can't necessarily see it. Like when I look at my body, it's still looking pretty much the same. The main thing that I feel and can kind of see is that my stomach, um, yeah. The main thing that I see is that my stomach isn't nearly like as bloated and just as big as it was so it is slimming and trimming i just definitely need to get back to lifting weight so i can tone because there's no point in losing weight and being flabby you know gotta hit those weights so it's just a little keto up. good early morning it is 4 30 a.m okay 7 30 new york time oh and look it's still like pitch black outside look at this hey babies I'm sure people are still on the strip. Y'all can't really see it because this window is disgusting and dirty. Hey, babies. Anyways, y'all know what it is. I'm about to go to the gym, um, work out for an hour, and um, shuttle isn't until 8:25 this morning, so I'll have time to take a nap <laughs> before we go to Boston today. So let me go get my workout in. Oh, Jesus. So I just used a new app. It's called Aptiv. I've had it on my phone literally for a very long time. I've just never used it because I always use the Nike Plus with the workouts and the running apps and my seven minute workout and all that. But so I decided to do this one because for whatever reason my Nike app wasn't working and I literally just fell in love with this app. So I'm always talking about how I want a personal trainer just so you know elevate my workouts and really start seeing changes in my body but that's really hard to do with my schedule as y'all know um, my best friend at home in Houston he's a personal trainer and he's awesome but he's always mad at me because I can never come so this app is basically it has all kind of workouts strength workouts elliptical cycling rowing treadmill outdoor running um, build yourself to 5k 10k I mean pretty much any type of workout you can think of it has it on there and then there's like a trainer talking you through the workout you know and telling you what to do so I just did an intermediate treadmill workout where it had you um, running and then doing strength training you know uh, in the middle of running so I ran for two minutes did some squats up the speed run another two minutes do something else and I really really like it um, the only thing is it's $99 <laughs> but that's $99 for the year which is amazing because what trainers are at least if you have a personal trainer they're what maybe a hundred two hundred whatever for how many ever sessions a month a hundred dollars for the app and it's basically like you have somebody right there pushing you along so I'm gonna consider getting it right now. You can do the guest pass for it. Um, I think it lasts a week or something like that. But I just really, really like it. So I'm kind of glad that I finally opened it and used it. Because I think this will be able to get me to the point. Because the other thing is that you can never find an app that has all kind of different workouts. Either you find an app that has running or you find an app that has strength training and you have to go in between all these apps. And this one has everything right there for you. So I just wanted to tell y'all about that. Uh, no, when your mouth gets all dry, my mouth is dry. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all about that before I forgot. Anyways, just finished my cardio and I'm gonna get into the strength training portion of my workout. Probably do some abs, which is my least favorite thing to do. Like it's my least favorite part of my body to train. I don't know why, I just don't like it. I never liked it but I gotta do it. <laughs> All right, workout was good. It's almost six now. I'm gonna hop in the shower, go downstairs and um, make me some tea, cause I can't eat until like, what time is it? It's what I just say, it's almost six, so New York time, till about another three hours. So I'm just gonna take a nap, watch some TV. I'll be fine, I'm not even hungry. So, but I think I may have to adjust my workout times, which is obviously difficult with my schedule. 
because I would love to be able to get that protein in my system right after I eat because, you know, you need protein and help your muscles stay strong and all that good stuff. So, we'll see. I'll figure all of this out one day. <laughs> all right, guys, on the aircraft, getting ready to go to Boston. It's nine o'clock. I stopped at Burger King and got me a bundless burger because I was doing the time. It's nine here in Vegas. It means it's 12 in um, Eastern time. So I can start eating. By the time I get to the hotel, tonight I'll have to be done eating because I probably won't get there till like 7 30 um, so I'm gonna have the bunless burger and then I have that milkshake I'll probably have some of that during the flight and then we'll see how I'm feeling once um, I get to the hotel um, that's as far as keto update uh, oh doors closed I can start doing my checks talk to y'all later all right guys just got to Boston that's my room and then right across the hallway is the little crew lounge that they have for us. It's an interesting smell in here. You found anything? Okay. Oreos, I can't eat those. Do they have any plates? Because I need a plate to warm up my food. I see this here. Y'all, say hi. You want to say hi to my Hello. YouTube blog? I got a YouTube blog. Yeah. Hello. Hey. He's so silly. Um. I guess. I mean, it's. Alright, I'm out. See y'all. Bye. See you at 5:40 in the morning. That's it. It's not. I'm sleepy, y'all. Um. So it is. Ooh. It is 6:44 p.m. East Coast time. So I still have about another hour or so before I have to stop eating. I'm not super hungry right now, so I think I'm gonna just wait a bit. Um, I have to, uh, ooh, yo, that, that Aptiv, A-A-P-T-I-V app, workout app that I did this morning, ooh, they had me doing shoulder workouts, and my arms are on fire right now, truth be told. Oh, that's so dark in here, ain't no no light um there's it's a view of the parking lot nothing to show y'all um yeah i just got off the phone with my mom so i need to call her back i just want some light like a whole bunch of ew now i'm really yellow um just to give y'all a little update of what's going on in my life if if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see. Okay, that's a little better, right? Not so drab, you know? Okay, hold on, I'm on a piece of cheese. Okay, Whew. so if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post um, earlier this week. Today is Thursday, so I think probably Sunday or Monday. My cousin passed away, uh, my cousin Christine. Um, I do not want to cry, <laughs> so just give me a moment. Whew. Um, yeah, so my cousin Christine passed away. Um, she was in one of my vlogs, like one of like the first or second vlog that I think I did that I was straight out of training. Um, I'll post it up here or whatever so y'all can see. Um, but yeah, she passed away on Sunday. She had lupus. Um, and it's just still really hard to believe, like, she's just, just gone. Um, but yeah, she, she had lupus. She had lupus for a really long time, you know. And lupus is just a disgusting illness that there is no cure for it. So for those of you that don't know what lupus is, it is an autoimmune disease that where your immune system starts attacking your body and you know, you can just, your body can no longer fight off illnesses, sicknesses, infections, and things like this. Like I said, lupus does not have a cure. And the thing about lupus is, is like it can pretty much lay dormant in your body for a long time 
which is what happened with Christine. She had lupus before I even knew her. Yes, she was my cousin, but we didn't come into each other's lives until about five years ago is when we first met. Um, and I'm really big on family. If y'all watch my vlogs, I hope you can tell. Like, very big on family. So we met in, like, there was, it's not like a friend. It's like, oh, we share blood? Like, hey. So we were, we were just, it was instant bond like that. So, um, so she had it for a very long time and about four years ago, I want to say, um, it just flared up basically. Um, and over the years it got to the point where, um, she went into kidney failure. She was on, um, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I've been crying so much. I can't cry anymore. Um, she was on basically like nightly dialysis for the past, I think like two years or more. She was hooked up to a tube every night for 10 to 12 hours going through dialysis. Um, so yeah, the other day. This past Saturday, she was going to a wedding with her boyfriend, her boyfriend's brother's wedding. And they were at the wedding, like, I guess right before the wedding actually started, you know. And um, she wasn't feeling good, you know. She was, she she felt sick to the point where she just, you know, he, she had her, she, she had him take her back home. And she was so, so strong, y'all. She was so strong. Um, and she had him go back to the wedding to support, you know, his brother. And she was like, you know, I'll be okay. Um, but she got so sick to the point where she was just in so much pain that, you know, she went to the ER, um, and basically she had an infection and, her body can't fight off infections. I mean, there was one time where she got a paper cut on her finger and she got an infection from that. And just, you know, just the smallest things that we take for granted in life, you know, our health. You know, I can get a paper cut right now and it's going to hurt. And I'll probably just lick the blood off and keep it moving, you know, like. Anyways, y'all. She um, she passed away Sunday. They intubated her and, you know, they sedated her because she was just in so much pain and just pain pills, morphine, all of that. It wasn't working. Um, and she ended up passing away on Sunday. <sighs> that was Sunday, August 12th. Her 31st birthday was... August 14th and so I just I don't know I mean death is already hard but you know then you have to celebrate the life that you know she lived and just I miss her and I wish she was still here but she's always in so much pain it's just it's a horrible disease to have. Like, it's so disgustingly horrible. And just unfair for anybody, especially a young person, to have to live their life like that. And the only thing that brings me peace is just knowing that she's not in pain anymore. I mean, God, you know, I would, we would FaceTime all the time, often, and she would be smiling and asking me how my life was going and this and this and you know and she would just say you know like you know why me Lexi like why me but she did so much to to stay strong you know when she could work she worked because she didn't want to be in the house cooped up you know there were points in times where she was so sick she was on bed rest for months you know just couldn't do anything so 
yeah knowing that she can just be up in the heavens dancing and being her jovial self brings me a lot of peace it really does um, but anyways this is my blog I choose to share that because it is my life um, and yeah I came to work <laughs> The funeral is, um, it isn't until next week, Friday. Um, some of y'all might say, why so long or whatever the case may be, but my family's from Jamaica, you know, it takes, it takes money and it takes time to, to get to places and things like that. And just, you know, things need to be done. So funeral is next week, Friday. Um, and yeah, we're going to lay it to rest. She'll be. She'll always be remembered. I mean, there's no way to forget that little firecracker. She was so little but mighty. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I think I brought this up because I was talking to my mother earlier and, you know, trying to wrangle all the family together and get everybody to um, Connecticut. Connecticut is where Christine lived. Um, so I got to see if I can get some buddy passes and and all kind of stuff that's that's what i have to do tonight um yeah so sorry for being a little sad <laughs> but this is life and life must carry on so i just have to go through the emotions and i just oh y'all i was just i was evil yesterday morning like so, y'all are always like oh my gosh Alexa you're so sweet you're so nice you're so caring you know you just have such a great attitude y'all are always saying that in these comments and I appreciate it because I y'all don't even know I try really hard to be positive all the time and just have a really good mindset because I do I don't like negativity not one bit um but yesterday just coming back to work my poor F1. I'm going to have to apologize to her. Um, probably just at the end of the trip. I snapped on her. <laughs> it's not funny. It's really not funny. But. Um, so. Today's Thursday. So yesterday was Wednesday. Yesterday was the beginning of our four day trip. And. And, you know, I'm just still sad. I'm just, I am was, I was just still sad. The day before was Christine's birthday, so I was sad all day. You know, on Facebook, I'm still seeing things constantly. You know, I was just still sad. So I walked onto the aircraft, and me and this, my F1, we've never worked together before. We've never met. Um, and the first thing she said to me as I'm coming on board was, Em, you don't look like you want to be here. And I snapped y'all. <laughs> I was like, well, I don't know. I don't want to work with you. Like, I was just so evil. So, um, we just, we did not click yesterday, like one bit. Um, which, from, I can own, I can own the things that I said. And my reaction was just not nice. I, I know it. But I, I mean, I still, I still don't think that was a proper way to greet me either especially when you don't know somebody so i had to put her in her place about that but today started off so much better and we've we actually work really well together that's the crazy thing so i know how to be a big girl and put on my big girl panties and i'm gonna apologize to her um when we end the trip because i actually enjoy working with her she's such a she's she's super sweet um, but y'all know, I mean, emotions are emotions and I am a Gemini, honey. <laughs> I can go from this to this so quickly. It's crazy. Um, the only people that really know that is my family and Fawn cause she lives with me and she watches me on a daily basis. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, y'all just wanted to give y'all that update. Um, if you believe in the power of prayer, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, um, please keep my family my auntie Pat and all of Christine's immediate family in your prayers. Um, I really appreciate it. Okay, talk later. Okay, so I really think I'm addicted to this Aptive app. 
I have never in my life just been like, oh, let me do some abs. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, let me see what kind of ab workouts Eptis has. And I just got me in a good little core workout. I'm about to go wash this face off and go to bed now. But my abs are burning. I feel good. I had my good keto dinner, Perrier water, like... Oh, child, I'm about to be fine. Finer than fine. Yes. Good early morning. It is 5.37 a.m. Eastern time. I'm in Boston. Shuttle leaves at 5.40. I'm running a tad bit late this morning. I just could not get out of bed. My alarm went off at 4.40. And I laid there until 5 a.m. <laughs> so, no makeup. And my favorite pimple is, like, showing up today. Y'all know on your face where you just get like the same pimples in the same spots. Mine is here and here. So anyways, let's go to work. It always is so crazy to me when I do the early morning flights um, to the West Coast and you get here and then like the cleaning crew and everything gets on board and they're like, good morning. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she's like, it's still morning here. <laughs> Hi girl, do you know I started my day like eight, nine hours ago? And you talking about good morning? <laughs> But anyways, we are on the shuttle, headed to the hotel, and take a nap. Um, yeah, I don't really know. So we have another super early morning back to JFK tomorrow. Um, I think our show time, report time to the gate is 5.45 a.m. Oh, which really isn't bad, because that's 8.45 regular East Coast time, which is what my body is on, but it's still early. So we have about an 18 hour layover here. I really like downtown San Fran because everything is in walking distance. I don't really know what's around by this hotel. I haven't, I think I've stayed here maybe three times. So we'll see what happens. So I think I now it's longer than um, anticipated. Where's the gym? And this is always my biggest struggle trying to remember where the gym is. Um, or is it on the fourth floor? This is a six floor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No. Let's try the fourth floor. And if this don't work, I'll just ask somebody. I don't want to be like a man trying to figure things out. I would just ask somebody, right? Um, anyways, yeah, what was I saying? I overnapped. It's 425. The movie was supposed to, the movie I wanted to go to was starting at 4 p.m., so guess I won't be going to the movies, but I do have shows to catch up on, like I didn't watch Big Brother last night, so I don't know who got evicted. Um, and yeah, just, that's about it, just a little TV. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to go do this workout, use my Active app. Um, I feel good, but I'm just ready to start seeing more changes in my body, like I have three back fat rolls. And I'll be happy when one of them disappears. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> Workout is complete. It is 5.41 p.m., which means it's 8.41 in New York time. And I can't eat no more for the day. Uh, and I'm hungry, y'all. I see what... I messed up with that nap. I shouldn't have napped that long. I should have got up like an hour earlier. My legs hurt. Um, and went and worked out. And then I would have still had time to eat. But I'll just drink some water, um, some tea, you know, just liquids that'll like, it'll help me out. And then I'll be starving probably in the morning. Or maybe I'll just have, um, technically when you're doing the fast, you're not supposed to have anything with calories in it during your fasting period. And, um... I'm thinking maybe I'll just sip like a little bit of my milkshake because it's just still like, I'm not even really, actually, am I hungry? Or I just think I'm hungry. I don't even think I'm hungry. See, that's the thing that you have to stop, take a minute and really say, are you hungry? Or am I just used to putting something in my mouth after I work out? <coughs> Food. Am I just used to eating <laughs> after I work out? I should say. Because, you know, some of y'all are just a little too much for me some days. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking about it now. And I'm not, I don't think I'm actually hungry. I just want to, I just want to eat. You know, like, let's see now. 
and I'm a, I'm a big girl and I like to eat. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm all right. So the workout was really good. Of course, I used the Aptive app again. Um, y'all, I really like this freaking app. It is, it is so good. And I think I told y'all yesterday that it was free for a week. It's actually free for a month which makes so much more sense. So you can see if you really like it, try out a lot of those workouts, see if you know, you're know you having any changes, progression and things like that. So um, the Aptive workout, download it, whatever. Of course, I'm not sponsored or none of this by any of that. We'll go to the movies in Brooklyn then, Fawn. I don't care. Fawn wants me to go all the way to the movies in Brooklyn when we live in Queens. Like, I'm not doing all of that. Like. I, I just don't like that is honestly one of the reasons sorry to all my New Yorkers but I'm just not in love with New York like that like I don't want to have to go to a whole nother area of the city or borough or whatever they're called just to go to the movies like no no so she can go by herself <laughs> I'm just all on a whole different tangent here um Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so the Aptive. It, um, so I did a treadmill workout. Um, this one was um, endurance and sprints. It was really, really good. And then after that, I did a um, upper body workout um, with some dumbbells. And then after that, it recommended a stretch, um, full body stretch workout. So, like, the app is just amazing. And it, like... It's like the trainers on there, they know when you're doing bad posture or when you're not standing right or forgetting to breathe, which I'm sure you know, like whatever, but it's just so, I just like it. I can ramble on about it a lot, but anyways, I just like it. I'm going to take a shower and um, yeah, catch up on my TV shows. Talk later. Okay. So it's official. I'm hungry. And um, I'm not here for this, the star of yourself crap, like I ain't doing all of that. So I'm gonna go eat. It will be a keto friendly meal. I have my keto fridge. I'm just gonna go warm that up or see what the bar has, if it's keto friendly. Um, and then tomorrow I'll just try to eat later instead of my normal starting time, which is usually 12. I'll just try to hold it out a little bit longer to um, get my fast back at the right time periods or whatever, you know? So don't ever starve yourself, people. That's not okay. And as y'all can tell, I just haven't seen it at the bar. <laughs> just gonna order some chicken wings with some ranch, you know, chicken. I got chicken and ranch, full of fat. Perfect. All right, late night dinner. We got some chicken wings. I didn't realize they had the sauce on here, but we just gonna have to overlook that today. I ain't got time. And sauce on the fine. Good early morning, my lovely subscribers. I need a name for y'all. Somebody like comment down below like you know how Ashley calls y'all her passengers and um Ashley the pretty passenger that is. Um uh, I that's the only one I can think of right now. Um anyways here in San Francisco bright and early SFO airport it's like 5 35 we have a 5 45 report time we get back to New York about 3 15 p.m. so yeah last leg of the day let's go I am some kind of sleepy this morning yeah. like it's what now 9 a.m. New York time and I'm usually up and about but I just did not sleep good last night um, I woke up in the middle of the night at like 2 a.m. or whatever, middle of the night, whatever you want to call that. And I didn't really go back to sleep till like 4 and my alarm went off at 4.30, so I'm feeling a little tired. Um, but now we're just waiting for boarding to start so we can hit the air. <laughs> hit the road, you get it? Hit the air. Anyways, see y'all when we get to New York. <sighs> so it turned out to be a really good trip. I did put on my big girl panties and I apologized to my F1 for my horrible attitude the first day of the trip and she apologized back and we said we would love to work with each other again so that was good um, but oh my god the plane was so dirty it made me miss the shuttle and I had to wait a whole nother hour for the next shuttle like y'all if you ever fly on the airline that's near and dear to my heart please try and clean up up clean up after yourself because once y'all get off the flight attendants 
have to go through every seat and pick up the trash that you left, okay? Like, some airlines have cleaners, and we do have cleaners, but they don't do all of that. They come on, do the restrooms, um, they'll like vacuum or whatever. But all those napkins and soda cans and water bottles and all of the rest of that stuff y'all like to leave, clean up after yourself, because it took us like a whole extra 15 minutes, which I was not happy about. <laughs> But anyways, this is going to be the end of this wonderful vlog. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, I have, yes, perfect time. The shuttle just rolled up. Um, I have another two-day trip tomorrow back to San Fran, but I probably won't vlog it because I'm not going to do nothing except go get my nails done because I've broken like four nails this trip. So anyways, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time.